Now for our last conversation in this first hour of this Thursday's edition of Good Morning Namibia, the World NGO Day 2024 was celebrated this week by people all over the world. It is an international day dedicated to recognizing, acknowledging and celebrating non-governmental and non-profit organizations. Now, this special day also honors the people behind these organizations who contribute immensely to society all around the globe. NGO Day was adopted by the United Nations on February 27, 2014 and has been celebrated with great enthusiasm ever since. The Namibia Development Trust hosted the event yesterday with several keynote speakers and joining us with more details on the day is is the executive director of the Namibia Development Trust, Haroni Dempers. Mr. Dempers, good morning and thank you so much for joining us. Hi, very good morning, Namibia. Very good morning. The Namibia Development Trust hosted the World NGO Day yesterday with a lineup of keynote speakers, as I mentioned earlier. Can you just talk to us about some of the topics of discussions that were brought to the table and how the event was overall? Yes, thank you very much for this opportunity. The event was held on the 28th yesterday and it was really well attended. Um, the, expect, uh, the participants' numbers um, exceeded what we initially expected to attend. We had over 100 NGOs from diverse backgrounds, and we had got quite, also quite a good mix between the youthful participants and also the much older veterans of the civil society. And I think generally gender balance was well balanced. We had quite important um, uh, speakers that participated also with us, he was our UNDP resident representative who was, who was, who was present with us and she uh, 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 talked about the, around the theme. And as we know, before 2020, 2030, there are only six years remaining and there is need for accelerated efforts if we want to meet the sustainable development goals. And therefore, she called upon and pledged a partnership and support to our civil society and with other development players uh, to be able to achieve the sustainable development goals. Then we had the IPPR, which shared with us a 10-year survey outcomes on the CSO Sustainability Index, and that gives us an overview of what is the status of the Namibian civil society. And one of the key challenges that was identified was financial sustainability was, was highlighted as a key challenge facing the civil society organizations overall, albeit the fact that Namibia civil society enjoys favorable conditions in terms of the political legislative environment that is there. The environment is quite conducive, but the survey also highlighted that the spaces for civil society are shrinking. Generally in Africa, Namibia and some few countries in Sadat are still countries where uh, civil society enjoys these rights of freedom of association, freedom of assembly, etc. And we need to guard these rights. We need to monitor the situation and be vigilant. And civil society needs to take charge of the space to be able to do that. Important discussion was also Ministry of Health and Social Services has developed a policy on social contracting on health service. We see this as an innovation that the Ministry of Health and Social Services has started. This policy intends to improve service delivery and is looking at how to engage civil society organizations to be able to assist ministry in de delivering services. As you know, civil society has got quite a good outreach out there. And in that way, civil society capacity can also be strengthened, the partnership can be strengthened, and government will be able to, on performance-based basis, be able to compensate uh, civil society organizations on the delivery of services. And in that way, I think the funding challenges that some of the NGOs are facing, those ones who will be participating, can also be addressed. We are also fortunate because First National Bank has also supported this e event and they also shared with us what they do and their social responsibility. So we had a quite good mix. The different organizations that participated also shared around their contributions and the roles that they play. And we had quite uh, interesting sharing of activities around what the NGOs are doing on their part and how they want to contribute towards the sustainable development goals. 
right. Now, understand the theme for this year is building a sustainable future, the role of NGOs in achieving the sustainable development goals. Can you just elaborate more on the theme and also which specific um, sustainable development goals are we referring to? Yes, in terms of which specific goals we are referring to, I think, as you know, the overall goals are 17 goals and different NGOs respond in different ways towards, towards these goals. And different NGOs could pick more than one goal in which they are making a contribution based on their profiles, based on their missions and mission statements. So there's a, there's, there's a quite uh, clear indication that there's a total alignment between uh, some of the work that the NGOs are doing on the ground and the sustainable development goals. Critical, as the theme directs, was to look at what role uh, civil society organizations play in helping to contribute to our sustainable development goals. And also linked to this discussion was not only this broader sustainable development goals at a global scale, but we had also a discussion around NDP6. As you know, National Planning Commission has initiated the process to consult stakeholders around what needs to be included in this in the National Development Plan 6. And NGOs are gearing up their efforts to be able to take part in this process. But there, there is for us a clear and a healthy alignment between what NGOs are doing on the ground and with what, what the Sustainable Development Goals are saying. As it was highlighted, I think there are only six years remaining before we can achieve Sustainable Development Goals and accelerated efforts are needed the need for strengthening of civil society to be able to be key good players in achieving these goals and the partnership was emphasized as a key ingredient that is needed if we want to achieve sustainable development goals. Right. Now, as, as the director of the Namibia Development Trust, can you just talk to us about some of the initiatives you've come across from independent, organ independent organizations all around the world that have brought about impact and contribution, positive impact and contributions? Yeah, the overall mission of NDT is that of building the capacity of community-based organizations because we believe that community-based organizations are the first layer of defense that communities are forming at their own local level to be able to address, identify their challenges, identify their opportunities, and mobilize resources. And our response, our mission is to be able to strengthen their capacity to be able to play an effective role through building and strengthening their local structures, building accountability mechanisms, building systems for them, uh, building processes that they can engage their members to be able to be accountable, transparent, the whole democratization process. That is what we are building at local level. And our response to our sustainable development goals, we believe that um, we are squarely responding to goal number one, which is about poverty eradication, because we believe that if CBOs have got the capacity at local level, they are best placed to be able to contribute towards poverty eradication efforts in their own way, in, at their own pace, with their own resources. And that is, I, I believe, the contribution that we are making. Right. Uh, Mr. Dempers, can you just give us a rundown of some of the special guests that graced the event with their presence? Yeah, as I said, we had the UNDP resident representative that was that was present and that that gave a sort of a key remarks for this for this occasion. We have also the IPPR representative who who gave us the overview of, of that survey. We had some speakers from um, Ministry of Health and Social Services that shared with us around the policy on social contracting. And we had a presentation also, and, and a representative also from the National Planning Commission. As you know, National Planning Commission also has an NGO help desk, and they shared with us what the help desk is doing in support of civil society organizations and also how uh, NGOs can participate in the NDP6 process. Mm -hmm. And also we had representatives from First National Bank who shared us around their social responsibility and how they are have been supporting civil society organization efforts and how could they continue to support. Right. Mr. Dempers, perhaps before we let you go, kindly just talk to us as to how the public can get on board with helping NGOs. I think NGOs is one of the vehicles that any citizen can help to identify 
meet and opportunities in their local local settings, and through that they could form organisations to be able to um, articulate these needs and serve as a vehicle for achieving those needs. So really, the formation of an NGO is an innovative vehicle that any citizen can help towards setting it up. Namibia provides basic guidelines in terms of the policies and, and the legislations that are there. O- organizations can be formed as a trust, as a Section 21 company, as a, as a social welfare organization, also as a voluntary o- association, which does not need to be registered under, under any legislation. So those are the different forms, if I can just mention some of them, through which organizations can be formed to be playing an effective role. And we believe that that is one of the best mechanisms and best vehicles that citizens can use to be able to form these organizations. And we from Namibia Development Trust can advise any citizen, any individual that is willing to set up such kind of an organization or that is willing to strengthen their existing organization to help play a part. Mr. Dempers, unfortunately, that's all the time we had for you this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. All right. Ronnie Dempers, who is the director of the Namibia Development Trust, joining us this morning, talking to us about the NGO Day, World NGO Day 2024, that was celebrated yesterday. Don't go anywhere. When I come back, I bring you the 7 o'clock news right here on Good Morning Namibia.